As you know, I tried so many different flashlights recently and this is the ultimate one for astrophotography and tube light painting. It has a dimmer right here on the head so you can choose your proper brightness. It fits well in the connector. Right there. It's compatible with this remote switch that I attached to my trigger using an elastic band, the same that I have in my hair. So I can have these two things in my hand without having to mess with it. So there's a button on the, on the hand here so I can turn it all off and then on the switch I can pop the light and this is what I'm going to need. So I'm not shooting in bulb mode for astrophotography and tube light painting. The reason for that is that I want to, to shoot for a longer duration, usually 8 seconds. And it's, as I know it's about 8 seconds, it's just easier to go to a fixed duration on the camera itself and then you don't have to hold the button, you can press only once at the beginning. So if I do a small test, so I trigger the camera, I turn on the light, I do my movement, I turn off the light, and then the picture is taken. The light painting is about 3 seconds for an exposure of 8 seconds. You don't want to appear in a picture, you don't want to be a shadow, you don't want to block the, the stars from the background. So you either go sideways with your model or you just lie on the ground. Now, now this is like the modern, ultimate, easy, fun solution. But to come here, I, I tried so many different things. And the other flashlight that I use for the, the whole Atacama project was this one here. It's such a great flashlight. It's the Nitcore SRT5. And for this one, the dimmer is right here, which is really cool. And more than that, when I fit it inside my connector, then I can simply turn the light in the connector to change the brightness. This is so cool. I would prefer to work with this one actually, but it's not compatible with the remote switch. It's still working and it's, it's fine too. You can have the, the Young Nuo trigger in one hand and then you trigger the, the camera. While you finish your movement, you just turn off the light. It's working. I, I've been doing it a lot and it's, it's okay. Now, what if you don't have a dimmer on your flashlight? This not so fancy trick is what we've been doing for a year. So, all of these images here, there, and also this one have been created with the Eagle Tac D25 SC2 on the lowest power. So, the trick is to use black tape on the lowest power and then you can control the exact amount of light that go out on the head of the flashlight. And sometime I would go up to right here and that is probably like 30 lumens only. It's working well too. So you have a lot of options, but if you really want to be efficient, I think that the ultimate solution is really this one, Nitcore MT22C with the dimmer, the remote attached to the Young Nuo trigger. I guess I should do a conclusion now. You want, you want to have the cat in the conclusion? You know? No conclusion.